Asia has been the uh, beehive of uh, geopolitical discussion and activities, not just geopolitical in terms of <coughs> Uh, political uh, relations uh, internationally, but of course economics, especially economics. And G20 met in Hangzhou, China uh, this uh, week and uh, at the helms of the um, G20 meeting of the major uh, economic uh, nations, uh, including of course the leading uh, countries like US, China, uh, Germany, uh, even Turkey and, and so on. Uh, uh, at, uh, at the forefront, of course, was uh, President Xi Jinping. And uh, Celso uh, gave a very um, uh, incisive view about this. Uh, and uh, you sent me the uh, Xi Jinping speech, uh, keynote speech at the B20. There were so many meetings there. B20 is, of course, a business 20 within the G20. You know? And uh, you were highlighting that um, the, um, the inclusiveness that Xi Jinping conveyed. Uh, he wants a global economy that is inclusive. Please uh, elaborate on that. It's very typical Asian that uh, you always strive for harmony, especially with your neighbors, and uh, that no man is an island. That, uh, in fact, in the speech of President Xi, that's the one that really caught my attention when he mentioned the word inclusive. You know? That China cannot do it alone. We have to develop together with our neighbors. And, that's, to, and to me, that's very, very promising and uh, exciting considering the phenomenal rise of China. In fact, he said what other countries took hundreds of years, China did it in 37 years to develop itself. It's very fast. Yes, and uh, well, uh, inclusiveness uh, versus what uh, uh, Rod was explaining to us, the exclusiveness of the TPP and the TTIP for the Atlantic side and TPP, which, as you were saying, seems to have collapsed already. Please elaborate on that, Rod. Well, actually, uh, there is no future in that agreement. First in the TPP, the TPP, no future both, anymore. Both TPP mm. and TATP, Atlantic, uh, Trans-Pacific uh, and Trans-Atlantic. Mm. First is that all you have to do is that what is the objective of this agreement? Looking at it, it's not really uh, these two proposals uh, by the Americans are not really trade agreements. They want to how do you call that uh, to replace the WTO with the United States at the helm. That's one thing. And second, the United States cannot insist on free trade. While free, tra free trade is possible, you cannot force people to buy your products because China is there. The products coming from China together with SAR are much cheaper compared to products from the United States. Well, any at any time, American products or European products can enter. They cannot compete. And now, third, the United States is not really engaged in investment. Wala nang investment, no more investment. But unlike China, the trade that the trade that China is emphasizing is more on development. The United States wants to develop or tighten the copyright law and patent law, which means it will the United States will be earning more money without investment yeah. generated by royalties. Mm -hmm. This I call this imperial, patent and copyright imperialism. Mm. And well, it's, a, it's good if it's their own invention, but they're copywriting and patenting uh, pro, uh, elements from nature, mm -hmm. uh, uh, from our forests and so on. And then they want to make money forever from it. Okay, uh, there are uh, a lot of important things that happen at the G20 summit happened on the sidelines. For example, Xi Jinping, uh, meaning uh, Obama's uh, staff, uh, being very imperial, uh, got into this altercation with the local uh, Chinese uh, authorities, and Obama was forced to walk down the tail end of the plane instead of the formal uh, stairs. But what is very significant, especially for the Philippines here, is the statement of um, uh, President Putin of Russia, who said, we stand in solidarity and support of China's position on this issue, the South China Sea. Not to recognize, exact words, huh? 
not to recognize the decision of this court, the arbitration court. This is not a political position, but purely legal. It lies in the fact that any arbitration proceeding should be initiated by the disputing parties, while the arbitration court should hear the arguments and positions of the disputing parties. As you know, China did not address the Hague arbitration, and no one listened to its position there. How can you recognize these decisions as fair? We support China's position on this issue, Putin stressed. And that's a direct quote from Putin. And uh, yes, uh, uh, well, of course, uh, I don't know if we showed the Swan Lake <laughs> uh, performance uh, during the opening, and this really awed uh, the world. You know? uh, Napakita na ba? Did we show it already? Or maybe we can play it now, including the music, because uh, I think uh, we have um, pointed out the important things uh, on this uh, on the G20 meeting. While we're waiting for the clip, uh, any uh, anything you want to add, Celso? Uh, well, in the, in, the, in the very first place, we should have not brought the matter to Hague and but discuss it instead with China, mm -hmm. because even whatever the decision that the Hague will uh, handle. It will still depend upon the two uh, parties to settle the dispute. He okay. does not have the implementing po uh, power. Okay. Well, here's the uh, end. Uh, the uh, ending for the segment, the Swan Lake performance uh, at the opening of the G20. Please uh, take it away. So, uh, uh, how much time do we have? Uh, you were going to uh, yes, add something. Yes. Yeah. I'd like to clarify. The statement uh, of President Putin is uh, understandable. Because if he will allow, he will sort of uh, justify the decision of the arbitration court, the United States can do the same to its annexation of Crimea. And that the Russians do not, will not accept that. Because... Historically, Crimea is part of Russia. Mm -hmm. It was simply detached from Russia by Nikita Khrushchev mm -hmm. without the approval of the Supreme Soviet. Mm -hmm. So it, okay. it was simple, there was a referendum, and in fact, many of the Crimeans, Russian Crimeans, voted in favor of reu reuniting with Mother Russia. That's right. That's the reason. Well, okay, the, that uh, being clarified, and I think that was one of the most uh, relevant. Uh, uh, events uh, relative to uh, the Philippine uh, and Asian uh, situation. Okay, let's take this break uh, as we uh, go on to the uh, China-Philippine focus. Mm -hmm.